So here we are in Hard House Theater with Hard House Theater's technical director, Mr. Brian Campbell. Hello, Brian. Hello, how are you? Say hello to our E! News community. Hello, E! News community. We are here doing a bit of a technical tour of just uh, one of the small corners of Hard House Theater. And the corner that we are currently in is the sound booth. Now, normally uh, during a performance, this booth is occupied by our in-house technician, usually uh, Mr. Christopher Wilson Haynes. Yes. Uh, So... What is this gigantic board and what does it do? Uh Well, this is our sound console and uh, we use this to manage all of our microphones and instruments and things like that that generally happen during a performance. Um, We can load it up with, uh, like I said, microphones or um, other types of audio inputs such as CD players, iPods, you name it, we can plug it into it. So any kind of sound cue. Any kind of sound cue. Yeah. Excellent. So why so many knobs though? Because <laughs> basically, <laughs> like, isn't sound just turning up the volume, picking the speaker, that oh, sort no, of thing? Oh no, there's much more involved in that. Um, all of these little knobs uh, allow us to send the the signals to different locations in the theater, as well as control the actual sound uh, quality, um, being able to equalize the sound, taking different frequencies out and or boosting certain frequencies depending on what we need. Very cool. I want that big tower thing in the corner. In the corner, that's um, our audio rack, and inside there is um, graphic equalizers so that we can pull out trouble, troublesome frequencies to avoid feedback. Um, there's also our CD players are in there, um, all kinds of other little bits and pieces that uh, help things sound good. Cool. Anything particularly unique about the needs of Hard House Theater um, for sound? Well, this, I mean, this venue is very live in terms of sound. Um, what does so that mean? It means that uh, sound travels very, very well. Oh, nice, right, because of the vaulted ceiling, is it? That's correct. So yeah. uh, everything, the sound just kind of travels and travels and travels, and actually that can be quite troublesome when we're trying to do um, microphones and things like that. So it can it kind of be kind of tricky sometimes. Right, the echoey. Hmm. All right, well, can we take a look up at the lighting booth? Sure. Ooh, secret booth. Come secret on, we'll booth. follow you up. Well, it's a that's... dark little crazy steep staircase. Yes. <laughs> Up. Now, who would normally be working up here? Uh, another technician, like, usually an IATSE person, mm-hmm. which is our stage union. Excellent. So this is our lighting console. i just fire up the, uh, the lights. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is a, an ETC ION. Um, it's a pretty good little theater board. It allows us to, to do lots of little uh, lighting effects and um, program everything down to just a single button and a single go. Ooh, yeah. Very cool. So you can have, and I've seen in the past, you know, you press one button, but 50 things happen on stage. Yep. So that's what this machine does for us. Yep. Excellent. And is, is this also where the stage manager usually sits? Usually. Um, mm-hmm. in, in the olden days, they used to, a uh, stage manager used to uh, hang out on the backstage right. Uh, mm-hmm. and call the show from there, hence the term stage manager. But uh, most modern shows and most modern theaters have a, uh, the stage manager calls the show from the booth. Right, so that they get a bird's eye view of everything that's, that's going on. So they can actually see what is happening and make sure that uh, everything happens correctly. Cool. This is a tiny little room. Lots of stuff happens <laughs> Very cool. Well, anything special about this booth we need to know, Mr. Campbell? Uh, well, uh, it used to be a film booth. Mm-hmm. I mean, they used, we used to have uh, all kinds of old film equipment in here, as well as... Uh, oh, that's why the big long window? Big long window and uh, big storage lockers on either side, which are fireproof, so that uh, in case the film ever caught fire and that sort of thing. Oh, wow. So if anything crazy happens, we should come up here and hide in the closets, yeah. huh? Yeah, yeah. This would be your best place. <laughs> Excellent. Now, uh, I guess you can't, in abiding by uh, IATSE and Union regulations, we can't see a sample of any lighting today, but no. if people want to, they should check out the 2011-2012 season of Hard House beginning in September. See you then. Thanks. Bye.